vice president is next in line to take over. Is that written somewhere? <laughs> yeah, the Constitution. The idea for the second Mrs. Wilson, now running at George Street Playhouse, came to Tony-winning playwright Joe DiPietro from a line in an article about female politicians. It said, you know, many people believe uh, Hillary Clinton will be our first female president, and then in parentheses it said, of course many people already believe that Edith Wilson was our first female president. I said, oh, I know, I know some things about Woodrow Wilson. I, that's, that's sort of new to me. DiPietro's research led him to the rarely told story of President Woodrow Wilson and his second wife, Edith. It centers on love, politics, and fraud. They fell in love like that, and he wound up marrying her very quickly. And when Woodrow had a major, major stroke uh, while negotiating the Treaty of Versailles, Edith took over the country. This was 1919. The 19th Amendment giving women the right to vote had just passed. And according to DiPietro, Edith Wilson was arguably running the country. She kept the president's condition a secret with a handful of others in order to further his projects, mainly promoting the development of the League of Nations following World War I. It's the story of a, probably the biggest American cover-up in D.C. It makes Watergate look like nothing. I mean, love or hate Edith Wilson, she did a remarkable job about keeping her husband in power. The period piece is also largely about something all too familiar to present-day audiences, partisan politics. There are certainly parallels in politics today. Oh my gosh, yeah. I mean, this, you know, I think if you write an historical uh, drama, you hope you write it because there are echoes to, that, you know, have echoed over the years and are still true today. And certainly uh, the idea that to compromise is to surrender is something that is very prevalent in today's uh, political climate. Of course, the challenge in writing about behind the scenes political maneuvering nearly a century ago is that there isn't a ton of source material. How do you walk that line between being true to their story and also being dramatically interesting? Well, I, I really, everything in the show is based on fact, what we know, sort of what happened. But, you know, I would say emotionally everything had to make sense. And for instance, there's a couple scenes where two people meet and argue that didn't, they actually didn't meet at that time, but they wrote letters to each other with those ideas in it. And so I thought, well, the letters aren't particularly dramatic on stage, but two people confronting each other is. The artistic liberties are helpful in fleshing out this secretive moment in history and the questions it presents. Should she have kept this man in power or should she have taken him away to where we could have rest, which is probably would have been best for her health, his health, and you have to decide if it would have been best for the country or not. Even with nearly 100 years of hindsight, it's a question that will leave audiences with fodder for debate long after the cast takes its bows. In New Brunswick, I'm Maddie Orton, NJTV News.